It was a cold beer in the floor, in front of her. <laughs> welcome. It's my privilege <coughs> to welcome everybody tonight. I'm Pete Little. Um, I'm probably preaching to the converted, but this town has an amazing arts slash musical community. Recently, the a cappella choir performed what I think was an inspired concert. This week, the Saugeen Secondary School uh, Musical Theater presented The Music Man, an amazing show of song, acrobatics, and dance. In her notes, the artistic director said, this show is all about the transformational power of music. The transformational power of music. Think about how you felt the last time you left a concert or participated in a concert. Tonight you're in for another gift, as the Chantry Singers present Chantry Choices. Earlier this year, the singers got together and came up with, you guessed it, their favorites from the last several years. Since this is a special concert, what better way to celebrate 45 years of choral music in our town? For those of you who have heard this before, I'll spare you the whole, I'll spare you the whole story. <clears throat> for the rest of you, however, you have to know that this choir was started in 1974, poured out in the centennial year. <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny. <laughs> now I've lost my place. Mrs. Jeanette Steves was contracted, contacted to supply musical, um, supply music for the occasion, and she formed the Port Agnes Centennial Singers. Uh, just for your information, um, there are still about a half dozen members in this choir that sang on that opening night in the original performance. What <laughs> Side note, Jeanette later formed the Children's Festival Chorus in the Acapella Chamber Choir. Because this choir eventually attracted such a widespread number of members, the name was changed some years later to the Chantry Singers. Their patient, persistent conductor is Ann Little. Their accomplished accompanist slash soloist is Christina Edwards. Guest conductor tonight, as you've already seen, is Jeanette Steves, our founder. I've heard, uh, been in concerts through the years where if something isn't perfect, the night of the show, she's pulled it at the last minute after weeks and weeks of work. If uh, it isn't perfect, what's her model, we ain't doing it. <laughs> and she's proven that time and time again. She has always strove for perfection. She conducted the opening tonight and will conduct two more pieces, including the closing selection, who is coincidentally the same two pieces opened and closed that very first concert in 1974. Tonight we will hear choral excellence with percussion, flute, bass, violin, and clarinet accompaniment, and a piano feature in the second half. The next three pieces are well known and will need no introduction. So we can have an intermission now. No. They're from the Phantom of the Opera, Fiddler on the Roof, and The Sound of Music. By way of doing some housekeeping, please ensure all devices are set to silence. Now please welcome Ann Little, our conductor, who will proceed with the rest of the program.
Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to hear us this evening and to celebrate your community choir's 45th year of choral singing. I want to thank Jeanette for being part of tonight's gathering. Jeanette has been my music mentor and friend for 35 years. She's encouraged my piano playing, my church musicianship, my choral directing, and my singing since day one. We've worked together in so many ways, and it's always been wonderful. I look forward to much future collaboration. Jeanette and Graham introduced Peter and I to one another in 1985. The rest, as they say, is history. Jeanette has been unfailingly encouraging to Adrian's musicianship. Thank you, Jeanette, for starting three very successful choirs in this community over the past 45 years, and for all you do to encourage young people as musicians each and every day. As part of this choir celebration of 40 years of singing in 2014, Jeanette was awarded the very first Lake Huron Order of Musical Excellence, and it's well-deserved. Thanks, Jeanette. Our next set features a selection of some of our favorite sacred and gospel pieces, many of which you will recognize, I'm sure. Perhaps some of them are, are your favorites as well. Jeanette will join us again as conductor for a prayer of St. Francis. We welcome Rob Tite and Adrian Middle for their instrumental enrichment of I Want Jesus to Walk With Me.
or so, the choir has tackled some challenging world music. Duandakuru means voice of the dove. It's a piece in the African-American gospel style and features a select, uh, sorry, a section in the Duoluo language spoken by the Luo people of Kenya. When we get there, you won't know what we're singing, but it translates, in my heart I hear the sweet music deep inside my soul. I feel the rhythm. Following that, Bonse Abba is an African welcome song. The words, loosely translated, mean all who sing with the Spirit have a right to be called the children of God. We took this piece to festival a few years ago and won gold. We are joined by Meryl on flute and Adrian and Cliff and Greg on percussion for different things. After these pieces, there will be a brief intermission. Enjoy. I'm very confused. <laughs> Look forward to those when they come. <laughs> okay. You already know all about them. Yeah. 
In the meantime, we are going to do the gospel piece, I Want Jesus to Walk With Me, and I really do right now, I'll tell you.
There will be a short intermission, and we'll be back soon. Thank you.